Now we, will, now we will configure the development environment. We will configure JBoss and some plugins, and finally, we'll download the OpenKM source code. First, we will install some plugins, selecting JBoss Studio 4 Extras. And we will install Maven, Integration, and Sub Eclipse. The Collab Merge Client. JBoss BPEL Editor. JNA Library. All the Maven 2E, Sub Eclipse, Subversion, SVN Kit, SVN Library. Now we can proceed with the installation. The installation could take several minutes. As we can see, the installation process has taken several minutes. After plugins are installed, an application restart is required.
Now we will install JBoss in Drive C. We've downloaded JBoss with OpenKM from SourceForge and unzipped in Drive C. Now we open the configurating file openkm.cfg. Remember to do this after the first running of openkm. The property hibernate.hbmddl should be changed to none. Now we configure in Eclipse the JBoss application server. Select JBoss version 4.2 and the JBoss folder in Drive. Then select the JVM, should be JDK version 6. Now double click on server to configure some parameters. We take a look on JVM configuration parameters and we increase XMX memory. Then we start application server under Eclipse. We add the console to see the log server. And now we have an icon on the right to start JBoss in debug mode.
When JBoss application server is started, we should remember to change the property hibernate.hbmddl to none. Now we test that o OpenKM is running. Now we will download the OpenKM source code that's needed if in workflow is done some call to some OpenKM API method. For this, we do a Maven checkout. Here we observe an error in the SCM URL. The SVN option does not appear. This is because we still need to install a plugin. The plugin does not come by default in Eclipse repositories. We should configure a new repository to install this plugin. We write the repository plugin. Select Maven SCM Handler. After the plugin is installed, restart the application. Then we download the OpenKM source code from the source forge.
Open File Menu option, New, Others, Maven Project, Check out from Maven Project. Now a list appears, SVN. Can download subversion projects. Go to Wiki Developer Guide where you will find the checkout URL. Select the 5.1. and we process checkout source code. It can take some hours because the first time it downloads all the Maven library dependencies. In video this process has been cut out. In the bottom right, we've got an icon which helps us in indicating how the process is proceeding. 